Today we're going to have a look at these two pens. These are the Bennu Chameleons and the nice thing is that they completely look like the surroundings so you can barely even see... No, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Easy joke. In it. <laughs> Wasn't that funny at all. Okay, here's the Bennu Chameleons and the Chameleons are called Chameleons because they have a, a iridescent material that changes colour uh, depending on the angle at which you look at it. Now, that is a little hard to capture on camera, but I'm going to do my best. So here we have a, shall we call it a bluish pen? And that turns almost purple. All right. Purple. As I said, it's very hard to show purple, and then it gets turns blue again. And this one is a, a dark blue, right? And that turns almost to a purple as well. So quite fascinating. Uh, I rather like it, as always, steel Schmidt nibs, um, but I rather like them because they have a very interesting futuristic shape. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover the parts of the pens, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, let's have a look at these Bennu Chameleons. First the box. Both pens come in the same box, but they're just two finishes of the same model, of course. Now, I rather like these boxes. Very simple. Uh, they actually have a, a date on them, the nib, and the, mo the, the, the name of the finish. Um, nice, simple cardboard. Uh, we have this, which I think had the converter in it. Um, and you have this little note uh, about uh, handmade writing instruments and all that, uh, how to use it, care, etc. Then you have these little, I don't know, cardboard little things um, to keep everything in place. Now what I really like is, from an environmental perspective, if you don't want the box you can put the whole thing in recycling. There's not a single plastic part in here, it's all paper or cardboard and I think that is very nice. I, I really appreciate that. Okay, we have our chameleons. I have two here. The blue one is called the happy and the green one is called the lucky. Sorry, I just took a sip of water. And here we have a Lamy Safari, also known as a Safari. Um, so as you can see, a nice pen, fairly girthy, um, not super long though. And many of the Bennu pens I've reviewed are uh, a slightly smaller size. These ones are a bit longer, um, but we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll come back to the size. Okay, I think this blue shows up very nicely against the white, so I'm going to show you the parts of this pen, but I mean, of course, they're both the same pen, right? I'm trying to show you that, that, that color changing. It's a little hard to capture on camera, but okay. Let's get started. All right, so I always have to look at which end is the cap again and which end is the barrel, but it's a little hard to see in this model. Here we have the cap, so a triangular profile, rather nice, finial, same material as the cap. It really is pretty material, I, I will say that. Um, you have this, this ribbed bit <coughs> for her pleasure. And um, uh, then there is the, uh, the, the barrel, right? And of course, triangular profile in the barrel as well. It says Bennu there, I'm trying to make that catch the light. And it's, I just think it's a very pretty material, and Bennu really does that well. They have some extremely attractive materials they use for their pens. The pen unscrews, and then you have the section. The section is black. It is not a matching material, which is a shame, because it's such a pretty material. You see a little bit there, but the actual section is black, and that's, of course, where it unscrews and it takes cartridges or a converter, but I have eyedropper the Bennu pens in the past. It's a solid um, barrel, I mean it's made from a solid piece of acrylic, so you can do that. Just make sure you really grease those threads. Um, so you have that. I can use it unposted, so that's nice. Some of the Bennu pens I've reviewed were too small for me to use unposted. This can be used unposted. Very satisfying posting click there and then you have a very nicely sized pen I would say. Because it's all acrylic it's not really top heavy and it's it's really pleasant to use. 
The nib is a number five Schmidt nib. It is not rebranded, it just says Schmidt Iridium Point and B for broad with some scroll work, so nothing fancy there. Um, but I have found that these pens write rather nicely. So, speaking of that, let's see how they write. Now, both have broad nibs, so I'm just going to take the green one. They write exactly the same. The one difference with the green one is that it has a gold colored nib, uh, gold, uh, I, I guess, gold plated. Um, so there is that. And this one has the, the chrome colored nib, but they write pretty much identically. So just to save some time, I'm, I'm going to write with the, uh, the green one only. So here we have the Bennu Chameleon. Uh, it's actually the, uh, what was it, the Lucky model. The nib is broad steel and the ink, I don't know. That could be uh, one of the Akamon inks. The writing is not glassy smooth. There is some feedback, but I find this pleasant feedback. It's not scratchy at all. Uh, it's just a bit of fountain pen type feedback, which is something I, I kind of like. Okay, a bit of fast writing. Okay, you see under these extreme circumstances, there are some skips. Um, but I don't think anyone really writes that quickly and you saw that as I write in a normal pace it's really not an issue but it happens there was a bit of a hard start there pen is not a gusher bit on the dry side I found that with a lot of Schmidt nibs line variation always very careful when you do this there actually is some to be had but very very careful it's not a flex nib okay Reverse writing works well and definitely takes the, the nib from a broad to, I would say, a good fine, which is nice for people who like that. It also It's also not very scratchy, so it actually works out pretty nicely. Okay, so that's how it writes. Just because I know I'm going to get some sort of question if I don't do this. Oops, sorry for hitting the tripod leg there. So here we have the, uh, the, 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 the blue slash purple one, okay? Also writes very pleasantly, and as I said, the writing experience is very, very similar to the green one. So that's the two pens, very pretty. Now let's see what I like about them and what I not like about them. Okay, so what do I like and what do I not like about these Bennu Chameleon pens? I think there's quite a couple of things to like. I I like the looks, this rib piece is cool. I simply don't know why, but it reminds me of the, the movie Alien. I don't know why. I don't know if there was anything, maybe there's Alien fans out there who can tell me why that's the case. Maybe it's, there was something ribbed in that movie that somehow stuck out to, stood out to me. I don't remember. But that's a really weird association I have with this. Nice model. It looks very futuristic with that triangular design with this this rib section um, I mean I can see this being some sort of uh, ray gun so to speak in, in a sci-fi movie they, they've done that very nicely I, I do really like it uh, I really like the fact that it posts securely because it is not the world's largest pen it's by no means really small as you can see but because this is so thin for some reason it feels like something you should post and it's very very secure I mean really secure which is very nice, I think, and also quite comfortable, not very top-heavy. I like that. Both of the pens write very nicely, very smooth steel broad nibs, um, so that's very nice. Unfortunately, the nibs are not rebranded. They do say Schmidt Iridium Point, um, and I think it would be great if somewhere in the future uh, we would see Bennu nibs that actually are rebranded just because it's I think it's nicer um, so there is that 
Another thing I've, but as I said, the most important thing I think is that the, the nibs write, and they, they do write very smoothly, very nicely, so that's, that's quite nice. I think, personally, that uncapped, the pens look a little bit disproportionate. It's a rather skinny section to a very fat uh, barrel and section meetup. Um, but when you post it, I think that, that helps in, in just making it a bit longer and that it kind of evens itself out a bit. Um, nice, can be eyedropped, which is cool. Uh, the only thing I would say is these pens are $120. It's a very nice material. I like that, that slight changing of color. Don't expect too much. It's not like the pen will go from a very bright blue to a very intense purple. It's a fairly subdued difference, but there is a difference. There is, there is an effect in depending on how it, it catches the light, so that is kind of neat. At $120, I wish that a converter would be included, because there currently is none, and yes, you can eyedropper it, but still, at this point, I, I, I would expect to at least have the option of a converter, and a converter obviously fits. So you can make it happen, but you have to supply it or purchase one from Bennu. And that's all there's to it. So the bottom line, I think it's a nice pen. They're nice. The material is stunning. The, the model is very cool, different, uh, uh, sci-fi-esque, uh, which, which I think is very nice and will definitely appeal to people. Neat. Writes very nicely. And I guess a reasonable price for what you pay. I mean, don't forget standard acrylic pens, $150, $160. So $120, I don't think is, is particularly bad. Okay, a kind thank you to Benu for sending me this. I hope this was useful, and I'm glad to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.